so welcome to the demo part of this video. If you hear sports noises in the background, my fiance is playing his Xbox. And I tried to shut the door, but my dog keeps opening it and coming in because the door doesn't latch all the way. I'm sorry. I got out of the shower not too long ago. I did my skincare already, and typically I do this at night, like before bed. But I think it's going to work just the same if it's not nighttime. Um, so the way that I do my fake freckles, sorry if I'm talking with a lisp or funny, I have my teeth whitening trays in. So I do all my skincare first, make sure my skin is nice and moisturized and clean and everything, and then I take a little eyeliner brush that's like slanted like this. I'm just using the Japanesque brush, it doesn't say a number on here. And then I take my fake tan of my choice. I'm using the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark Tanning Foam today. And I try to just put, I take the mitt that I would normally use to fake tan, and I just put like one and a half-ish pumps on there because it kind of like dissipates after some time. And then I just start dotting it on my face. I feel like it works better when your face is like freshly like washed and moisturized. Mostly because I mean that's I feel like that's easier for the fake tan to like stick to your skin. And I kind of do different sizes. Some I press down really hard on the skin to get really intense and some I just barely tap the skin to get really light. So you can sort of see what I'm doing better. I like to put it over my pimples. Some of these are a little bit too dark and too big, so I'm just gonna like take my finger and like kind of smudge them. Not really like wipe them away, but just smudge them a little bit. It's so nice outside. We have all of our windows open and our balcony door because the breeze is just incredible. The temperature is perfect. I think it's like 72 outside. So we might go to the beach today. It's kind of overcast and cloudy. It's not super sunny. But we might go to the beach today just to take pictures. Probably not swim or anything. So you can stop whenever you want with the freckles. I like to go pretty heavy and pretty overboard just because when I do put foundation on I want them to definitely come through and I'll show you guys how I do foundation when I'm wearing these fake freckles because I do my foundation completely different than when I'm not wearing my fake freckles I feel like they look pretty good um, the ones that I got a little bit too big and too dark don't look super natural but that's okay because once they set and everything I feel like I'm talking with a lisp. Once they set and everything, it'll look a lot better. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna put just a little bit more on this side of my face because I feel like I put way more on this side. I like to put some under my nose, like on my lip. Oh, you put them whenever you want. If you want to just put them right here, that's fine. If you want to just put some right here. That's fine. 
I like to go full in. I just think this is the best looking fake freckle look. Honestly, like, I think it looks the most believable. And if you want, you could even put some freckles, like, on your neck. And on your chest if you want to. Um, I don't know, I don't really see a lot of people I feel like with freckles on their neck, but if you want to go in, go in. I won't stop you. Do it, sis. Oh, already. I think this is good enough. I put a few on my neck and my chest, not that it really matters. Like, you don't have to do that. Though. So, like I said, normally I would go to bed and let this sit overnight. But today I'm just going to let it soak in for a good, like, um, 30 minutes. I still have 30 minutes left on my teeth whitening thing. So I'm just going to let this soak in for 30 minutes before I apply any foundation or makeup or anything. I'll probably do my hair and stuff while my teeth are whitening, all that good stuff. So, yeah, I'll be right back with the foundation tutorial. Alright guys, so I'm back and I'm going to show you how I do my foundation with my uh, freckles like this. I went ahead and painted my nails. Tried to look cute. If my lips look a little bit weird, I did put a lip plumper on and so that should be like doing its thing right now and I know I look crazy but once I get the rest of my makeup on I'm gonna look fine I promise. I've been taking my um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation which I'm almost out of because this is my pale shade and I use this one more than my tan shade because I'm pale more than I'm fake tan. I would love to be fake tan all the time but that shit takes work and I don't always take the time to do that. So anyways, taking some of this foundation and I take less than I normally would, so I'm just going to put about that much, um, maybe a little bit more, on the back of my hand. And then what I'm going to do, not only because this foundation is too dark for me right now because I'm Casper White, I'm going to take some of my Neogen sunscreen. I don't know, it's kind of a long name, but it's this. I get it from Amazon, and I'm going to mix it with the foundation. I'm going to use quite a bit of it. So it kind of shears out the foundation, like a lot. You can use a sponge if that's what you prefer. A sponge will also shear it out a little bit more. But I'm just going to take my foundation brush, get the majority of the product on there, and start on the outside of my face, and then work my way in. So I have the least amount of coverage on the middle of my face. Some on my neck. Oh, my hairs. So then I'm gonna take whatever is left over and then I'm gonna go over the middle of my face. Whatever's left over on the back of my hand, I'm gonna take on my brush and then I'm just gonna like touch up the edges a little bit. So it's basically like just putting a BB cream on. If you have a BB cream, that's great. You should probably just use that. I don't have a BB cream. I just make my own with my sunscreen and my foundation. So now as you can see, that coverage is like super light coverage. Because you can still see like the freckles. Yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer, kind of normal, but I'm going to use less concealer than I normally would, so if basically you're just doing way lighter coverage. You can do fuller coverage or like medium coverage, but the freckles won't really show through as well, because I want them to show through like a lot. So I'm just using a little bit of concealer to color correct my under eyes. 
I like to let my under eyes shine through a little bit whenever I do have my fake freckles because I think it gives an even more like natural look. And normally I would put the concealer on my eyelids, but I'm going to leave my eyelids natural. Makeup with my fake freckles. I pretty much leave the skin like this. I am going to go ahead and do off camera my eyebrows, um, eyeliner. I'm going to put some really like flirty, fluttery lashes on. And I'll come back when I do my blush and highlighter because I do apply my blush a little bit different when I have my skin like this. So, I'll be back. Lashes that I use today are the Glammedic eyelashes and the Style Lust. I did a video on them, um, my first impressions and stuff. That was my first time using magnetic eyelashes. And I really, really love them. I think they're gorgeous. And if you want to purchase a kit from their website or uh, just a pair of their lashes, some of their magnetic liner, you can use my code Emma Victoria for 15% off. If you want to, I'm not pressuring The blush I'm using today is a Tarte blush, and I'm not sure what the shade is. It's one of these little things that was like a special for Black Friday that comes with like eyeshadows and then the blush underneath. I go pretty heavy on the blush. I'm gonna load it on my brush, knock some of that excess off and then smile and really just like tap it on there and I really go hard on the blush like I might have went a little too hard and then I'm gonna put just a tiny bit on the tip of my nose So now that that's done and I look a little crazy, I'm going to take my foundation brush and I'm just going to kind of just like pat over that blush a little bit just to tone it down slightly. If you want, you can just leave your cheeks like without any blush. That would be pretty too and the freckles would kind of show through better. But that's just how I'm going to do it because that's how I've been doing it. Um, now I'm going to do... Oh, my nose is itching. Highlight. So I am going to use my setting spray, my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day setting spray. And I'm going to take an eyeshadow palette to cover my... Oh, there's dog hairs all over the place. I'm going to use my eyeshadow palette to cover my eyes while I spray my face. smells so good. This is the cucumber scented one. Love it. And I'm going to take my pretty fan that my coworker gave me. Okay. So now that that's pretty much dry, it's still just a little bit damp. I'm going to, okay, siren. That's great. I love when a siren's going off during my video. Makes me feel. Alright, so now that that's done, I am gonna take my Becca Opal highlighter. I have the little mini one. And I'm gonna swirl my brush around in there. And you guys know how to apply highlighter. I like to go a little heavy on the highlighter, even though this is a more quote-unquote natural look. The highlighter is so pretty. And now I'm going to use another highlighter, and it's going to be my Ofra Cosmetics Glazed Donut. Because it is so bright and so blinding. And it's perfect for really pale people like me. So I'm just going to use a little bit of that, not the same amount as the opal. Use a lip plumper. So I'm using my Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Plumping Gloss.
So yeah, that's my fake freckles look. that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you try out this fake freckle method be sure and let me know tag your instagram down below so i can go check it out uh, if you want to follow my instagram it is emma victoria underscore mua anyways thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed today's video i think i already said that okay bye <laughs>